Welcome to FrameReady. This short video will demonstrate how to back up your FrameReady program to a removable USB drive. To start, you should check to see where the files are located. From the main menu, go up to the Help menu and select About This File. The file path will show you the location of your FrameReady program. Before you make a backup, it's very important that you exit out of your FrameReady program. If you're networking, all of this needs to be done on your host computer. If your file path is different than the one in this example, the next few steps may differ slightly. Double-click the computer icon on the desktop, or select Computer from the Start menu. Double-click Local Disk C and SoftTouch Solutions. Remember, depending on where you installed your FrameReady program, your location may be different. Please refer to the file path that you made note of earlier. Right-click on the FrameReady folder that represents the version you're currently using. In this case, it's FrameReady 8. Select Send To and Compressed Zipped Folder. An archived copy of the FrameReady 8 folder will be created. It's a good idea to rename this file to include today's date. Right-click on your new archived backup and select Rename. I rename my backups to start with FR and then the year, then the month, and then the day. Right-click on the archived backup again, and this time select Copy. Plug in your flash drive or USB hard drive, and double-click the computer icon. Double-click the drive that represents your USB hard drive. In this case, it's drive F. Right-click on some empty white space and select Paste. Your archived file will then be copied to the removable drive. Now that we're done with our backup, we should remove the USB drive and place it in a safe place, preferably off-site. It is also very important that you periodically test your backups to ensure that you are doing them correctly. Plug in your flash drive or USB hard drive and double-click on the computer icon. Double-click the drive that represents your USB drive. Double-click the most recent archive backup. Click Extract All Files. Click the Browse button. I recommend temporarily extracting the files to the desktop. Click OK. Remove the check from the Show Extracted Files box and click Extract. When extracting, if you receive a message that the folder already exists, make sure you click No and try extracting the file to a different temporary location. Locate and open the FrameReady folder on your desktop. Double-click the file named FrameReady or the file named Main Menu. Check that all the files are current. The easiest way is to click Find All from the List view and scroll to the bottom of the list. Check that the last date is current. After you've checked all the files to verify the integrity of the backup, exit your FrameReady program. and be sure to delete your temporary FrameReady folder. It's not necessary to check the integrity of every single backup, but it is a good practice to do so occasionally. This concludes this clip. Please return to our website 
to view more clips on the many functions and features of the FrameReady program. Thanks for watching.